Hi guys, my name is Alex and I'm responsible for everything creative regarding Alteborn. Together with a couple of friends from the art team, we will tell you more about the updates coming with the Alteborn and we'll discuss the topics that you guys brought with the feedback. We also got a community event going on, so please make sure you stay till the end of the video and check the description below. Um, now about some inspiration. So, you see guys, we played and loved tons of Souls-like games from small indie games like Hollow Knight, Curse of the Dead Gods, up to the AAA likes of uh, Dark Souls, Sekiro and uh, our beloved Remnant from the Ashes for example. However, um, those games inspired us mostly in terms of game design because this is what we aim to do. Uh, however, from the art perspective, we were looking for something else. Months ago, we started to play a bit with the arts of Alteborn. It was just the, the very beginning of the thing. And uh, we created a political compass rendition <laughs> that became a simple artistic compass for us because uh, we wanted to put a couple of games in here and actually compare them. Nonetheless, it helped us to define the main goals that we wanted to achieve with the art style. That is, we wanted it to be memorable, easy to read as you play and eye-catching when necessary. Hi, my name is Matthew and I'm the concept artist for Alterborn. The process of creating concepts for our project always starts with a short discussion with the art director. Afterwards, I start collecting references for whatever we need to create. Once I've gathered enough satisfying images, I start preparing multiple, simple but quite defined shapes that roughly fit the description of what we are searching for. Once I'm satisfied with the result, I always go for feedback. It's very important that at the different stages of drawing process to confront the ideas to find the best ones. After feedback, this stage of the process is closed and I can start working on defining the shapes. Regardless of what it is, I always try to make weapons, characters or terrain as believable and cohesive as possible to make them fit into a world that we are trying to create. In the end, we usually end up with at least three or more variations of one image. Hi, I'm Kir and I'm here to talk about 3D stuff. Generally speaking, the idea behind making 3D is to translate the 2D image, the concept art, to a 3D space, which means that the final model will not look exactly as the concept art, but it should convey the mood and idea of the concept art. Just recently I started modeling the new character by the name of Errol. He's going to be a blacksmith who can fix your equipment and tell you some stories. Once I'm starting modeling, I'm going first with defining shape and composition. These two things are extremely important since Alterborn is a stylist game. When these two things are done, I'm moving on to adding details, so to speak, to make character skin and leather to look different. And of course, on every stage of my work, I get the feedback from art director and when everyone is happy, I'm done. Some of you guys asked about character customization for Alterborn, so we thought, uh, yeah, sure, let's go. And here it is. Look, uh, we work on the character customization for Alterborn with two things in mind. First, we wanted to escape the boundaries of realistic visuals you see so often. I mean, realistic graphics are cool, but we're a bunch of indies just trying something else, you know? Uh, we'd rather have players to be able to go crazy with their characters. These are just little snippets, namely just work in progress. But what we're trying to achieve here uh, is basically diversification, so everyone can associate or identify with their altered self in the game. So choices for gender, facial features, uh, different ethnicities, hairstyles and bunch of other stuff is yet to come. Alright, so we got a little community even going on right now and we want you to join in. As you know, your feedback is absolutely vital for us and helps us improve. So now you have a chance to vote for your favorite designs that will become a part of the game and take a poll where we ask you a couple of questions regarding the Souls-like genre and a bunch of your other opinions that we would like to know. Anyways, that's it for now guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be glad to see you in the event on our Discord server. So please join us right now and see the previous blog by our friends from Game Design Department. See you in the next one. Embrace it, or be consumed by it.